Welcome back. In this video, we will be designing the rock paper scissors app. Over here, I have the basic layout of what our app is going to look like. Whenever you create an app, make sure you have a basic layout or prototype before you start creating it. So for your choice, computer's choice and show who the winner is, we will be using labels. And for rock, paper, scissors, we will be using buttons. So first let's drag in a label from user interface. To change the text to say your choice, we will go, need to go under properties and change the text. The size of the text is too small, so I'm going to change it to 23. You can play around with the various other properties of the text. You can change the color or you can change the font. Next, go to layout and choose a vertical arrangement. This will allow you to lay components from top to bottom along the vertical axis and it will all be left aligned. Now we are going to drag in the three buttons. Let's change the height of the button to 15 and the width to fill pattern. As you can see the width hasn't changed because we will need to change the width of the vertical arrangement to fill the pattern. This is because fill parent allows the component to fill the available space. Let us do the same thing for the other two buttons. For the buttons, we are going to be uploading images. You can download the images we are using from the link below the video. So let's go to media and upload all the images we are going to be using. Now let's go to the properties, go to images and choose the image. So first it's going to be rock and remove the text. Do the same thing for the other two buttons. You can also upload the images here, but it's much easier to upload all the images you're going to use in media and then choose which one you're going to use for each component. So here it's going to be paper. And over here are scissors. Now we need to add the other two labels. So let's drag that in and change the text to computer's choice and the winner is I'm going to change the font size to 23 and 25 when we do the coding for the app in the next video you will understand how the labels will change according to the results. Now to create spacing between components, you can use anything from layout. All you need to do is change the height. The layout for the app will look different when you try it on your phone. You will learn more about this in video 4. See you in the next one.